Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to show you something here. Um, I don't know if everybody remembers this. Uh, these mini arcades from China which came out about a few years back. Um, uh, it's been like three years since I had this now. I think two, three years, something like that. And about a year ago um, I noticed something happened with this thing when I, when I turned it on. Um, I went to play it and the games were all messed up like all the Capcom games for some reason it was all the Capcom games like it everything else was working fine like from uh, Super Nintendo and things like that uh, but for some reason arcade like straight from the menu here especially too um, they, they weren't running they, they were running but they were blurry and they had like glitching problems and stuff like that the graphics it was all pixelated and shit I, I don't know what the hell was going on I was like this thing is brand new what is going on so um whoa sorry <laughs> I'm constantly hitting this thing um so I don't know what was going on I was freaking out and I didn't know how to fix it for a long time I was trying to figure out information about this thing like I, I was the, the community for the retro gaming and stuff for the art for these uh, retro devices from China and stuff like that there is no information on these things so today I want to show you how to fix that problem if your ROM starts to mess up and get all fuzzy on this thing uh, if you have one of these I'm going to show you how to fix that so I finally figured out how to fix that so let's get to it Okay, so let me show you what was going on. Now, um, I already fixed, like, almost all the freaking ROMs already. So I'm going to show you one that is still a little messed up. Uh, it runs terribly. Uh, like Guardians. Guardians right here. This one, I'm going to show you right now. This is what it looks like. You hear that? Kind of fuzzy. Now it seen it looks fine, right? At first. Bam, look at that. Look at that. You see that going on there? Everything is all glitched out. It, it's horrible. And all the ROMs were doing that for Capcom on arcade. Only the Final Burn Alpha arcade. Only the Capcom ROMs are doing this. I think this is uh, supposed to be Capcom, or maybe it's Konami, something like that. But um this ROM is also messed up, so uh, I already fixed up most of them, but I, I forgot that this one was still messed up, so I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. Now, let's get to that. Okay, so first thing you want to do is just turn it off, alright? And then you want to take out the SD card. So I'm going to unplug it and take out the SD card. Okay, so I got the SD card out. Oh, oh. God, it's so tiny. Thing. And what you're going to need is a USB uh, card reader. So you're just going to plug that in. Okay, so now I'm just going to plug this in to this old ancient computer that I have. <laughs> I'm in the middle of upgrading it too, so yeah. Plug it in. Get a thump, thump, thump. All right, now I'm going to show you here. Sorry for the poor quality on uh, filming a PC here. Um, I don't feel like getting into the studio thing now. Okay, so it's popped up there so now you can just go into this PC with the SD card and oh sorry that looks like crap I should get in closer all right here we go uh, games let's get into the games uh, I also added Sega Game Gear in here and um, I also added N64 but this thing can't run N64 for shizn it it's horrible um, okay so um, hold on a second. Let me check. I gotta check something here. All the way down to Guardians, right where Guardians is at, which will be G R. It starts it just spells it out like that for some reason. It shortens it. Okay, here it is Guardians. Here we go. Okay, so that PNG, don't take that out. Don't remove that. Don't do anything to that. It needs that. Okay, so now move over you want to move over to your ROMs in your PC oh fuck that okay so where where do I have guardians so here's somewhere okay now here's guardians alright now you're just gonna move this over 
move it over. Uh oh, now it's gonna ask if you wanna copy or uh, whatever. Wait, did it go in? Hold on a second. I see it there, and it's okay. That's strange. What just happened? Normally, it would ask if you want to rewrite. If you want to overwrite the uh, the file that's already in there. That's kind of strange. It didn't ask that. It just did it. Okay. Um. Okay. So let's go back. Okay. So you're pretty much done here. So all you want to do is just go back back, go back, eject, okay, alright, now it's ejected, so you're pretty much done, so you don't need this anymore, but get, get up, okay, you don't need this anymore either, and eject it, okay, just take the SD card, put it back in, see the click, there we go, Okay, just power it back on. Let's see what happens. Alright, now we can scroll this way too. So let's go to Guardians. Okay, there it is. Now let's see. It should be fixed now. Sounds like it's supposed to be a robot. <laughs> there we go. And it's fixed. Voila. See? Now your ROM is working again. Yep. That's all there is to it. <laughs> when I figured that out... Oh, sorry. When I figured that out, I was like, oh my gosh, dude. Like, really? <laughs> I was like, that's all it took. That's all I needed to do. Um... What I also did too was I reinstalled all the BIOSes and stuff like that. So, and what this thing is using, and nobody's gonna tell you, okay? I'm gonna tell you right now. This thing is using uh, RetroArch. It's actually using a RetroArch formed uh, OS. Like, it's a style of OS in the style of RetroArch. It's not exactly RetroArch, but it's in the style of RetroArch. It's using like a RetroArch type of style. So, the FBA file burn alpha ROMs, right? Non-main has to be non-main, and uh, has to be strictly from file burn alpha. It has to it has to only be uh, for file burn alpha on with the retro arc. Uh, I think it's retro. If you get like main games, um, they have to be non-main for file burn alpha. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, yeah, I think that's all there is to it. Now let's see, let's see the gameplay. Let's play it actually. Let's select. Oh wait, I got a controller. I have controllers here. Hooked up to it. Two for two players. So let's try it out. Alright. Start. I'm gonna use my controllers. There's nothing wrong with this stuff, it still works, but um, I I don't like this guy. This thing right here is annoying. <laughs> um Go with the baby. Wow. This is a beat em up game, right? Yeah. Okay. Is that the only button? Okay, I can use that. So there's only a one button attack. Okay, let's jump. Working fine, look at that. Responsive. No frame skipping. There's no lagging. No glitches in the graphics. Nothing. Looks great. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's like a Streets of Rage. <laughs> like a run and jump jump kick. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a woman. Yeah. That's a Rottweiler. Yeah. Oh, she she did a backspin kick. Yeah. 
So yeah, what I was saying about RetroArch is that if you want to uh, reinstall the BIOS for the for every single system, right? Every system that this runs, what you want to do is use the RetroArch BIOS. You, that's that's what I was that's what I was trying to explain. <laughs> I couldn't get it out for some reason. Um, you want to get the RetroArch BIOS because that's what this is using. That's what I was trying to say about it's using a RetroArch style uh, OS, which is kind of weird, uh, you know. But it that's how they did it. That's how they programmed it. So that's the way you got to do it. And nobody, nobody tells you this. And I had to figure that out for myself. And once I figured it out, I, I was so excited. I was really happy because I I really like this thing. This thing is really freaking cool. And you can and it has an HDMI cord. You could use it to on your you know monitors or, or TVs plug it in and it, and it works phenomenal this thing is great but when I saw those ROMs were messed up like that I was so sad man I was so disappointed okay I'm not paying attention here I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> so I'm too focused on speaking what come on I can't what the oh I just realized they're going into the TV and coming out of the TV I'm gonna take that come here Mega Man this guy looks like Mega Man what these, these guys look like sentinels from X-Men. Extended arms and everything. Wow, they, <laughs> these dudes are sentinels. <laughs> Take that. Don't mess with my baby. Hey, you hit my baby. Yeah. Oh, that was beast. Dude. She could backflip and kick at the same time. Oh. All right, well, you know what? We're done. That's it. <laughs> well, that's what I just wanted to show you guys. You know, in case uh, anybody has one of these things or one of the, uh, the what is it, the G1000s and stuff like that? You know, uh, anything that's just like this. Uh, this is the Hanenbeer Q70. I've I done videos on this about two or three years ago, I think it was, um, when I reviewed it when I first got it. And it, it was, like I said, it works. This thing is amazing. This thing is amazing. I and mean, when you just plug in controllers and, like, it works amazing. It, it's already programmed for you and everything. So, um, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys, in case you needed to, to know what to do in case that happened to you. So, I, I just wanted to help you guys out and figure that out. Uh, so yeah, that's it. And um, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was informative for you guys. And I'll see you next time.